Good happy Saturday evening, August 8, 2015. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started now. First up, man thought sought in bow burglary police say. Bo police are investigating a burglary at Alpine Tools on River Road. Surveillance video shows a man burglarizing the business Sunday morning. The man took 200 in cash, police said. Anyone who recognized that man is asked to call Police at 603-228-0511. Route 12 reopens after Surrey crash. A biker and his passenger are seriously hurt after a motorcycle crash in Surrey Saturday morning. New Hampshire State Police say Albert Miller, 54, of Ringe, was driving north on Route 12 near the entrance to the Keene Landfill just before noon when he lost control of the motorcycle, causing it to go down. Both Miller and Mary Miller, 54, were thrown from the bike. Both suffered serious injuries and were transported to the Char Cheshire Medical Center in Keene and then airlifted to Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center in Lebanon. Route 12 was closed for about two hours while police investigated the crash. Police believe that at the time of the crash, a car slowed down to turn left in front of Miller. They believe Miller did not have time to react to this and crashed his bike before hitting any cars. Police say it does not appear that speed or alcohol contributed to the crash. Police Man recovering after being shot in leg. Manchester police said they are investigating a shooting that sent one man to the hospital. Police said the victim was shot in the leg on School Street around 12.20 a.m. Saturday. He was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police said the shooting was not random. They believe the victim knew his assaultant. At this time, there is no word whether any arrests have been made. Jeb Bush speaks at Barrington Town Hall meeting. A day after going toe-to-toe -to -toe with his fellow GOP hopefuls, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush is back in the Granite State. Bush held a town hall meeting for supporters in Barrington Friday night. Dozens of people packed the Turboncam International Hall. Hundreds gathered to remember victims of tent collapse. A vigil was held Friday to remember the lives of the father and daughter who were killed Monday when a circus tent collapsed in Lancaster. Dozens gathered in downtown Lancaster to console each other. Same, some came from Vermont where the victims 
were from. Woman gets 15 to 30 years for role in death of husband's ex-wife. A New Hampshire woman has been sentenced to 15 to 30 years in prison after reaching a deal with prosecutors to plead guilty to conspiracy charges in the death of her husband's ex-wife in 2013. Many animals up for adoption after Ossipi pet spa owners arrest. The dogs owned by a woman charged with 21 counts of misdemeanor animal cruelty are still in protective custody. Officials are hoping to find new homes for dozens of other animals found at Lorianda Miller's house, her boarding facility and rescue facility she was running in Ossipi. New Hampshire officers trained on how to improve witness identification. You can't always believe your eyes is the message being given to law enforcement officers at a new course being taught at the training academy. The Attorney General's office wants all departments to change the way they do photo lineups and update procedures to make witness identification more reliable. About 60 people attended this session, which was the first time it has ever been taught at the Police Standards and Training Academy. Critical moment nears in reporter's trial in Iran. The final hearing in Iran's secretive trial against Jason Rizan will take place on Monday, offering a new hope that he that the jailed Washington Post journalist will be released soon. Rans has been in Iran custody, Iran custody for more than a year. Authorities have accused him of espionage, but have provided no proof. The Post has catalogically denied the allegations. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.